Hello Pisces, I hope you're well. I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for October 2022 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So welcome. This is Andrea from Truth Well Told Tarot. Let's see what we have for you for October. We have self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind and soul. That's your first message. Let's see what energy we have for you for October 2022. What is the energy for... Pisces, please. October 2022, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Pisces, thank you. Okay, so we have number six, contract. So let's see what we have with that. So we have partnership, legal agreement with contract. This card shows a contract in the background, ready to be signed, indicating that a committed connection of some sort. This union may be a business deal, the sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding, at least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that if a legal action is underway, it is likely to turn out in your favour. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities, so remain aware and receptive to what may be coming your way. Very nice. Okay, let's see what else we have, Pisces. Message for Pisces, please. Let's pull you a crystal angel message. What do we have for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces. Thank you. So I have fluorite, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and joy lovable inside and out. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. Okay, Pisces, let's see what spirit animal we have for you for October 2022. Spirit animal for Pisces, please, for October 2022. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you, that wanted to come out. We have the snow leopard. Take some time out of your usual life to spend it in solitude. Might serve you well. Could be some advice there, Pisces, for part of October. So let's pull some cards and see what we have for you. Message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. Message for Pisces. This is the Druid Tarot deck. As always, take what resonates. Won't be for everybody. Message for Pisces, thank you. October 2022. What do we have for Pisces, October 2022? They're a little large, so I'm choosing these cards. Okay. Your overarching energy, we have the Eight of Swords. King of Cups, could be you Pisces, can also be somebody connected to you, can be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, male or female, or the energy of the card. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. The Four of Wands. 
the Three of Swords and we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card, somebody who is fiery, driven, action orientated, passionate, go getting, sometimes independent as well. With that, we have the Prince of Cups, the Knight of Cups. So let's, let me just grab another deck, one second. And I just want to clarify the Eight of Swords. Somebody not wanting to move forward, resisting moving forward. Clarify the Eight of Swords, thank you. The Seven of Swords. Let's get one more card with that one. Okay, the Queen of Swords. This is, it feels like... A truth. I've got the King of Cups again. It feels like for some of you, seeing seeing the truth of the situation, not knowing which way to go, but then all of a sudden seeing the truth, getting some kind of truth, it could well be to do with some deceptive behavior. The Seven of Swords can be deception on some level, whether it's lies, cheating, um, stealing, not being above board, concealment. The It feels like with that Queen of Swords, getting some kind of clarity in dealing with the truth because the eight of swords feels like i don't know how to move forward right now which way do i go being stuck in your own head doing a lot of overthinking queen of swords can also be somebody who might give you advice as well let's clarify that king of cups We have the Three of Pentacles rebuilding. With the Ace of Wands taking a step through a new door. Yeah, this feels like for some of you, you're being offered. And again, the Queen of Wands holds that wand. So I feel this is about starting over with somebody and rebuilding a relationship. And the opportunity to do that or somebody offering that to you I want to start over we can make this work we can build back up you know that's what somebody's saying here it might well be your your trust in this person your confidence the confidence in this person uh, has been shaken in some way but this is the energy of I, I'm offering you a new beginning we can absolutely make this work we can get back on our feet we can you know, rebuild, you know, your faith in me and so on and so forth. That's what I'm getting here. I feel that you you are dealing with some kind of truth. Spirit is telling you self-love first and foremost. This natural authenticity, this is about being true to yourself. Take some time out with that snow leopard. With this contract, this is a feeling of you you had an agreement between two people. The four of the four of ones can represent it can also represent family as well. So this can be about family, relationships, happy home, happy family, four corners of stability and security, and rebuilding that. Can we, can we get that stability back? Somebody wants to build bridges again. Um, but there is a feeling here that you have a choice to make. The Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords, a lot of overthinking going on. Because there's negative thoughts as well associated with this because someone deceived you in some way. The Seven of, of Cups, you know, uh, what choice do I make? There's confusion and doubt 
Intuitively, though, you do feel a particular direction here with the Seven of Cups. Um, it can sometimes be the energy as well of, of, again, continuing the theme of, do I trust what they say? Because somebody has been hurt. You know, somebody has been hurt here. The, the Three of Swords can be emotional pain being caused, can be linked with third party situations, painful truths, painful experiences, and considering breakups as well with this because of what somebody has done, their actions. I feel this Queen of Wands is offering you love here, Pisces. Prince of Cups is an offer of love. Um, I feel this is in the form of, in the form of an apology to re rebuild this relationship or in, in whatever context with in the home, the family in some way. And there's, there is some kind of offer. Somebody is vulnerable. Somebody is wanting to make something right. This is uh, an offer of love. You know, expressing how they feel and so on and so forth. Because the Queen of Wands is taking action to offer you that in some way, I feel. Again, this can be reversed as well, vice versa. But I feel this is you're making the decision. And really, I feel in this energy here, Pisces, you're not giving away much because you're wondering which way to go. And there's a lot of internal work going on, but you're not really opening up to this person because they've hurt you. So this is somebody who may have closed off emotionally to what this person did because they've been hurt. The Ace of Swords, given to you by the hand of God, the universe, the Eureka moment, the epiphany, the clarity, the answer from God, spirit, the universe that you, you need. It could well be for some of you, you're getting some kind of answer to do with how you're moving forward here. This is how I'm going to move forward. This is the decision, the choice. By seeing the truth of the situation for what it is, I'm going to make a choice or a decision on that basis on whether you accept an offer or not. The message is take time out to think about this. You know, it's in your own time. If you're not sure, then you need more time to think because these are all swords energy. All three energies are all swords. Um, this is about being true to you, self-love first, and whether that contract can be remade. Somebody feel I feel that like somebody broke uh, like a code of honor, you know, whether it was in a marriage or family bond or relationship bond of some kind this feels like somebody broke something that in a dishonorable way you know and it feels like linked to some level of deception okay pisces let's pull an angel message for you a little angel message what do we have for pisces interesting we have believe in miracles these cards are very shiny they don't always scan in anyway it says believe in miracles the bottom of this deck I did glance at and it says ask your inner self the answer to your question Okay, let's pull you an angel number. What do we have for Pisces? And this number might mean something to you in October. What do we have for Pisces, please? Thank you. Number one. Number one can be linked with new beginnings. We have create your own reality through how you choose to speak to yourself. Your angels want you to be aware of your personal truths and beliefs. Are they creating a positive or negative reality for yourself? And you know, Pisces, bottom of the deck is number eight. And obviously eight was the overarching energy, eight of swords. We have now is the time to lay solid foundations for your abundance to grow and prosper. Your angels are supporting your goals to attain prosperity 
but it will require hard work and planning. Yeah, this is a feeling of, because abundance can be in terms of love, romance, relationships, but it can also be energetic as well. This is be truthful with yourself here on what kind of, whether you can create a positive new beginning with this person or move in a different direction, but this is about being true to you. Do move in a direction where you can lay solid foundations and that is that three of pentacles energy. So let's pull you a final message. Let's see what we have as a final message for Pisces. We have stepping into your power. Don't take a back seat in your story. It's time to step up. Yeah, I feel for some of you, there will be some level of thinking in October where you need to get clarity on a situation. But then there is a feeling once your mind is made up, you move, you know, you move forward, whichever way you choose to, Pisces. Um, it does feel in this energy, however, spirit is helping bringing some kind of epiphany, some kind of answer, some kind of clarity your way in how to move forward. Because the Ace of Swords always helps you move forward to a happy, healthier reality. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month of October. I will see you next time.